Hey guys, a video or two back, I introduced you to the brand Redwin Optics. And today I have a scope in from them. It's called the Scarlet. And this is a one to eight by 24. These are really kind of designed for ARs. Uh, you can put it on other stuff, but most people who are buying the scope are specifically buying it for an AR-15. Just kind of show you around the box here. It looks like it's got a five-year warranty. Um, if there's any problems, you can ship it back for free as well. And let's see what's back here. There's a QR code if you want to scan that for more information. And then there's some of the uh, specifications of the scope itself. But I figure we'll do a real quick unboxing. We'll go over all those features and specifications. Uh, we'll get it mounted to something, get out to the range, see how it performs, and then give some thoughts on it. So it looks like we have some literature kind of tucked in behind. Looks like that's maybe just showing some of the models, some of the new release stuff. That's that Cobra that I reviewed. And then back here is some information on our scope. So this is kind of like a manual here. So there is like this little piece of foam that's back here. Um, again, this is a super nice box. It's one of the nicest boxes that I've received from a company. But I will say that this scope is basically just loose in here. All right. There's a little piece of foam down here. They definitely need a foam on the other end. And I like it to where when the, the foam will actually have the cutouts so that this goes inside of it. And then there's no movement in there at all. Um, Cause it's hard telling what all happened, you know, to this box during shipping and everything. I'll pull the scope out so I can get to this other stuff. Uh, the scope has a cantilever mount on it. And I'll show you that obviously when we get out of the bag and there are some uh, lens covers already on it as well. So another little piece of foam, but really it wasn't doing much down in there. Got a tool, a screen and another little Allen key, a five year warranty. That card looks like it's been bent somewhat, maybe from the scope bouncing around. And then this might be another type of manual. Yeah, it is. And finally, a lens cleaning cloth, which is branded. And again, I do appreciate them putting their logo and name on that. Very quickly show you guys the manual. You can pause and read any of that if you want. No pictures or illustrations or anything on this manual. But again, you did have more information on that other page that I pulled out earlier. All right, let's get the scope out of this bag here and take a look at it. So this is the Scarlet. And again, it's a 1 to 8 by 24. And what that means is that our magnification goes from a 1 times zoom up to an 8 times zoom. So that's your one to eight and the 24 is our objective lens down here. Just kind of getting some close-ups here. See if I see any type of glaring imperfections or anything. And as far as the anodization goes, everything looks perfect on it right now. Um, even the mount, is the same exact texture, color, everything as the scope, uh, which surprisingly does not happen that often. So let's take a look here. That's your focus adjustment or eye adjustment. That's super smooth. A lot of these are so stiff that I can barely turn them. That's real nice. Let's check that magnification ring. There's not a throw lever on it. That is pretty stiff. There is kind of like a built in lever right there. It's not a little skinny one that you can use that, but yeah, that is stiff. So I'm going to have to work that in a bit before I ever even go to the range. I'll just have to sit here and basically turn this back and forth, you know, maybe 50, 60 times 
try to break that in a little bit. Looks like our turrets are covered for our windage and elevation. Let's see what they look like. See if they take tools or if they're toolless. So they are toolless. Very positive clicks. Audible, palpable. Let's get this one on and I'll check out the elevation. It's probably the same, but just want to be sure. Yeah, those are actually really nice. So this does have an illuminated reticle. Um, I believe it is red and there are six levels of brightness. I did not see a battery anywhere. So let's see if they included a battery already in this. I know it takes a 2032. No battery. So you are going to have to provide your own battery for it. And when I reviewed their Cobra TRA, it did not have a battery in it either. And I think it is kind of bizarre they don't include a battery. Like, I probably have reviewed more than 50 scopes, maybe 100, I don't even know. And for sure, over 100, like, uh, tube-style red dots, reflex-style red dots, pistol red dots. And every other one that I've ever reviewed always comes with batteries, sometimes even two and three batteries as extras. But I will say again that these are brand new releases. Like, I might be one of the first people to be getting these out. Um, and maybe future models are going to include them, but, and, and I will let them know that. We'll check out the lens covers here, see what they're like. Real positive spring on those. Let's pull that off and actually check it out. So I've seen a couple others like this. It has almost like a rubberized texture here, so it's very pliable. But then right there, it starts with like a plastic onto that plastic. These are actually pretty decent. And that little sunscreen or sunshade, you see that there's threads on it. It would just thread into there. Try to get it to click, and it's hard to do this through the camera. And then I think you still should be able to put this back on if you want. Yeah, you can. The overall length of the Scarlet is 10.7 inches and a weight with the mount, which is obviously how you're gonna have to run it anyways, is 21.4 ounces. And speaking of that mount, I really like these one piece cantilever mounts. And this one actually seems like it's of really good quality. Everything lines up really well on it. Um, yeah, I think this is a good one. And I appreciate the fact that they already have it in it um, and it should be level already. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be the exact eye relief that I need. I might still have to loosen these and move it around a little bit, but I actually do appreciate that when a company will go ahead and put it in. I mentioned earlier that the ocular lens was 24 millimeters. Your objective lens is 36 millimeters and the tube diameter is 30 millimeters. The Scarlet is IPX6 waterproof rated. It is nitrogen purged. The lens is fully multi-coated, uh, which that helps prevent any type of scratches if this were to fall on something. It also allows for a lot more light transmission and then just makes the glass much clearer. And that is what that reticle looks like. I'm on the one-time zoom right now. Um, and I would say it's not necessarily a true one-times because that is clearly bigger. But as you can see, even inside here and at this distance, it is very, very clear. I'll try to get you guys some footage whenever I'm at the range with this. Uh, but I think I'm going to be pretty impressed with this glass on this. And that reticle is a wired reticle, and then obviously in the uh, T shape. I'll throw a battery in there, and we'll see if we can see what that illuminated reticle looks like. All right, we'll see if we can see this here. This will be level one. So I'm in a well lit room right now, so it may be hard to tell. I can for sure see the dot right in the center of the crosshairs. 
I can't tell if all of the crosshairs are illuminated or not though, but so we're going to have one off and then it'll be two and basically the same thing off three. As you can tell, the dot is definitely getting brighter there in the center. As I get into a darker room, I may look to see if the, um, if the whole reticle is illuminated. And if it is, I'll show you guys that. This is level five. And finally, this is six. So it kind of gives you, it looks like the crosshairs with the red dot in the center. A couple other things to quickly mention before we get it mounted. Uh, that little like partial throw lever there. Wherever the lever is, is what the magnification you're on. So as you see, I'm on one right now and it lines up with that. And if I want to go to four, then I move that lever to around four. And again, that is super stiff, but you get the idea. And the last thing I know that I said that um, this will probably be going on most people's AR 15 or whatever. This is rated all the way up to a 308, I believe. Uh, so you can put it on way more than like 556 or 223. Uh, it's designed to handle the recoil. All right, guys, out at the range this morning with that Redwind Scarlet 1 to 8 by 24. Um, probably going to put close to 100 rounds or so through it. I'm set up down there at 50 yards, and then I have some clay pigeons over there at 100 yards. It is super windy out here, so I apologize if there's a bunch of wind noise. I'm um, going to make sure that, you know, nothing's wrong with the glass and that reticle. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the uh, mount, you know, doesn't walk loose or anything. Um, once I get it zeroed in, I'm going to make sure that it holds zero. All right, guys, so I've had a chance to use this Redwind Scarlet 1 to 8 by 24. I just want to share some of my thoughts with you. I honestly think that the overall build quality is superb. The fit and finish is fantastic on this. The anodization is great, and you can just tell that they're using quality components, even all the way down to like the lens cap covers um, and then like the covers on your turrets. Everything just seems good. Even the hardware, like the screws, the threading on them seems pretty decent. I've had other scopes from other manufacturers that one time mounting it, that all of the paint basically is actually gone from the screw heads. Uh, these seem like they're really high quality. And even though it sounds kind of dumb, even going down to their box, the box is just a better quality box than a lot of other scopes. And hopefully you can tell from the earlier video, uh, but the glass is just crystal clear on it. The turrets are large, easy to adjust, um, capped, toolless. So yeah, I like, I like them a lot. It does have that wired reticle, not an etched reticle, um, but that's fine. Again, especially at this price point. Um, and what I like is that the reticle is always there. Even if the battery were to fail for your you know, red dot, the reticle is always going to be there for you. I really like these cantilever mounts, and they do have a couple different available. And if you guys were to purchase one, I would spend a few dollars more and get the one piece cantilever. Um, I had pretty decent eye relief. I did have to come a little more forward than what I usually do with this rifle. Uh, but still was very manageable and I could have still moved this back a little bit, but they already had it leveled from the factory and stuff. So I didn't want to mess with it. And so I just brought my face forward just a touch more. I think the one to eight is like really like the perfect magnification. Um, you can go down to one if you have some close quarter stuff, you know, 10 to 50 yards or whatever. Um, but then you can take it up to the eight if you need to go out to three, four, five hundred yards. I will say, though, on that magnification lever, 
I, I bet I've turned that thing 80 to 100 times and it's still pretty stiff. So when I was at the range, I started off in one and then I did some shots at four. Then I did some shots at eight. I would for sure have to pull my face away and basically stop shooting and then make my adjustment. I mentioned earlier in the video that they included this little like sunscreen sunshade and it's definitely designed to help reduce glare coming at you, but it also helps prevent you from being seen um, because the end of this has that coating on it, almost like a mirror type finish. And so when you have that screen on there, it prevents that from being seen. And I guess besides the magnification lever being so stiff, my only other complaint is that they did not include a battery for it. So yeah, overall, I really like this scope and would highly recommend it. At the time of me recording this video, they are not available on Amazon, um, but you can go to redwindoptics.com and you can pick one up there if you want. And again, they do have a few different versions available. Um, they have it with just regular like scope rings and stuff like that if you'd prefer that. But I would recommend the, the one piece cantilever and that is the price right now on them, which is honestly about half the price of even the lower budget kind of name brand ones like a, a Bushnell. They're in the four to $500 range. So I, I really think that the price on this is pretty amazing right now. So if you guys found this video helpful or informative in any way, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And that's going to be it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.